This video is about solving problems of linear equations with two variables for 8th graders. 8th graders, welcome to your virtual classroom. Just a few reminders for your convenience. Get a sheet of paper and a pen to answer the exercises. To make sure you comprehend and follow through the concepts in the video, pause and replay the video at any time in any point. Now, you are ready. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to determine the process in solving problems involving linear equations in two variables. Solve problems involving linear equations in two variables. Now that we know the objectives of this video, let's begin. Let's recall the previous lesson. Activity 1, solve. Complete the ordered pairs in the linear equation with two variables and plot in the graph on a separate sheet of paper. Substitute the values of x, which are negative 4, 0, and 4 into our equation x minus 3y equals 36 to solve for the values of y, which you are going to write here. When you have a problem, how do you solve it? Do you follow some steps in solving your problem? How about when you are asked to solve a mathematical problem? What are the steps that you follow in solving a mathematical problem? Well, you will be following the usual steps in solving word problems, which are number one, read and understand the problem carefully and determine what are asked to find. This answers the question, what is asked? Number two, Identify the quantities involved or the given and assign a variable to represent the unknown. This answers the question, what are the given with representation? Number three, write an equation. This answers the question, what is the equation? Number four, solve the equation, which means show your solution. And lastly, state the answer in terms of the problem and check the result. Now, let us solve the following examples with these steps. Example number one. The price P of ordering books is 62 pesos times the number N of books plus handling charge of 35 pesos. How much is the total price if the number of books purchased was five pieces? First, let's know what is asked or the unknown, which is the total price if the number of books purchased was 5 pieces. Then, let's know or find out the given, which are the price, which is 62 pesos, number of books purchased, 5, and handling price, which is 35 pesos. Let us do our representation. Let P be the price of books and N be the number of books. And our equation will be P is equal to 62 times N plus 35. Again, 62 represents the price of each book, and N is the number of books purchased plus 35, which is the handling price. Now, let's substitute the given values. P is equal to 62N plus 35. Our N is the number of books, which is 5, so 62 times 5 plus 35. Now, 62 times 5 is 310, plus 35 is equal to 345. Therefore, the total price purchased with 5 books was 345 pesos. Now, to know that everything is good, let us check. To check, just substitute the answer to the equation. Now, we know that our P is 345, our N is 5, which is the number of books. So, so... 62 times 5 is equal to 310 plus 35 is equal to 345, which is equal to P. Since the value of the left side is equal to the value 
of the right side, it means that the answer is correct. Take note that a variable can be represented with any letters from the English alphabet. And the equation can be written in the slope-intercept form, which is y is equal to mx plus b, or the standard form, which is ax plus by is equal to c. Now let us have another example. The sum of twice the number of Zara's imported meat and thrice the number of his local meat is 360. What is the total number of local meat if Zara has 42 imported meat? Now let us check out the asked or the unknown, which is the total number of local meat. Now let's go to the gift. We have number of imported meat, which is 42. And in the story problem, it said, twice of the number of Zara's imported meat and thrice the number of local meat is equal to 360. Now let us do our representation. Our x would be the number of imported meat and our y would be the number of local meat. And our equation would be the sum of twice the imported meat and thrice the local meat is equal to 360. Solution. Now we know that the number of imported meat is 42, so we can substitute that to our x, which is the number of imported meat. So 2 times 42 is 84, plus 3y is equal to 360. And 3y is equal to 360 minus 84 to get the value of y. Now we are going to divide both sides with 3, which leaves us with y, which is equal to 92. 3y is our number of local meat. So 3y is equal to 3 times 92 is equal to 276. Therefore, the total number of local meat Sarah has is 276. To check, just substitute the answer to the equation. Now, here is our equation. 2x plus 3y is equal to 360. We know that our x is 42 and y is 92. If you want to review that part of the video, just replay the video. So, let's move on. 2 times 42 is 84, 3 times 92 is 276, add them together, we have 360 is equal to 360. Since the value of the left side is equal to the value at the right side, it means that the answer is correct. The difference of one number and thrice another number is 21. Write the equation of the line, identify the slope and y-intercept, and find the three pairs of values of variables that satisfy the given condition. x is equal to negative 2, 0, and 3. First, we are going to find the equation of our line. So, let x be one number and y be another number. The difference, which is minus, the difference of one number, and thrice another number is equal to 21. Change the standard form to the slope-intercept form, which is y is equal to mx plus b, to get the slope. You can refer to the previous lesson about the equation of the line. Please click the link in the description box for the previous lesson. So, the slope-intercept form of the equation is y is equal to one-third x plus 7. Now, we know the slope is one-third and the y-intercept is negative 7. Now, let us find the three pairs given x is negative 2, 0, and 3. First, let x be negative 2. Substitute negative 2 into our x. So, we have negative 2 minus 3y is equal to 21. Negative 3y is equal to 21 plus 2. And of course, we are going to divide both sides with negative 3 so that y is equal to negative 23 over 3. Now let us have x is equal to 0. Again, substitute 0 to our x. That leaves us with negative 3 is equal to 21. And dividing both sides with negative 3, we have y is equal to 7. And lastly, x is equal to 3. Now, we have 3 minus 3y is equal to 21. Subtracting both sides with 3, so we have negative 3y is equal to 21 minus 3. 
and dividing both sides with negative 3, y is equal to negative 6. Therefore, the three pairs are negative 2, negative 23 over 3, 0, negative 7, and 3, negative 6. Now here's what's more. Activity 2, finding time. Give what is asked in each problem. Use a separate sheet of paper for your answer. If the sum of 5 halves of 1 and 3 halves of another is 8, write the equation of the line in standard form, identify the slope and y-intercept, and find the three pairs of values of variables that satisfy the given condition. x is equal to negative 3, 1, and 3. For number 2, the amount of money of Charles is 2 peso coins x and 5 peso bills y is 184 pesos. How much 5 peso bills does Charles have if he has 52 peso coins? Take note of the asked or the unknown, the given, the representation, equation, solution, and checking. Now here is what you need to remember. In solving for word problems involving linear equations, remember to analyze what is asked. Know the given. Create a representation to know the equation and give the solution. Of course, answer, then check if the answer is correct from the given equation. Now that you have finished this module, here is what you can do. Solve the following to find the equation of the line. Choose the answer from the box. Here is our box. And write the letter of your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Now here are the equations that you are going to solve. Another one. Find the equation of the line which passes through the given point, parallel, or perpendicular to the given line. Show your solution and write the answer in slope-intercept form on a separate sheet of paper. We have through negative 4, 3 and perpendicular to 2y minus 4x plus 7 equals 0. We have through 1, 5 and parallel to y is equal to 6x minus 13 over 8. And through 1, 5 but parallel to y minus x is equal to 5. Solve the following problems and show your solutions. This will be the last one. Use a separate sheet of paper for your answers. Number one, the price of ordering an item using Shopee as an online selling platform is 242 pesos times the number of item plus the shipping fee of 100 pesos. How many items were ordered from Shopee if the total amount paid was 584 pesos? Number two. Yuki is a collector of Japanese money. He has a total of 205 yen, which consists of 5 yen coins and 20 yen bills. How many 20 yen bills does he have if he has 5 pieces of 5 yen coins? If you think that you can do more, here is a challenge. Solve this problem and give what is asked on a separate sheet of paper. Jamie rents a generator and pay the following fees of 200 pesos plus 20 pesos per hour. Write an equation that represents the cost of renting a generator. How much will it cost to rent the generator for 10 hours? And if Jamie's bill is for 785 pesos, how long did she rent the generator? To enrich your skills in finding the equation of the line, you can visit and play the interactive games in the following websites. For the basketball game, click this link, and here is how it works. There are two teams, the red and the blue team, which take turn in answering the questions.
If your answer is wrong, then the other team will have the chance to answer the next question. Now, if your answer is correct, then you will have a chance of earning additional points by having a free throw for... Oops, no, I'm not good at basketball, so I'll just leave it as it is. For the second link, here is how the website looks. Please explore the website at your convenience. Finally, check out additional supplemental materials by visiting this link. Check out these links in the description box below. Congratulations! We just finished Module 9 of Quarter Life. This has been your teacher, Miss Mary Kate. Get involved!